Dry Island Buffalo Jump is one of 20 Alberta parks the province says it could partially or fully close. Three major areas are in danger of losing their protected status. The province says the plan could save five million dollars. Defend Alberta Parks started in response to uh, the government announcing that they were going to be delisting or closing 175 parks and provincial recreation areas. Delisting itself means that they lose their protective status, so they no longer are a provincial park or a provincial recreation area. They, they go back to being just public land or crown land. So by delisting and removing those protections, they are open up to, to all kinds of different threats. We have so many pressures on our lands. We have so many industrial pressures and recreational pressures, and our parks safeguard this nature. And, and to think that, you know, nearly a third of our protected area system, our parks are gonna be lost and open up to industrial or recreational pressures is horrifying. A public campaign was needed for this because parks are public lands. So they belong to Albertans and Albertans should have a say in what happens to them. We wanted to create awareness of, of this decision that, that Albertans did not agree to um, and were not informed of and allow them to, to voice their opinion on it. When we heard about this announcement, uh, this was also at the time uh, when, when COVID was also rolling out, truly the same week. It wasn't only deciding what we were going to do about the campaign, but how were we going to engage Albertans safely uh, during the pandemic. A conservation group, Defend Alberta Park, says concerned Albertans have sent over 10,000 letters to MLAs. More recently, it's distributed hundreds of lawn signs. CPAWS created the, the campaign Defend Alberta Parks and was talking about it almost immediately. And I felt that this issue with defending Alberta parks and prospective parks closures and delistings was an issue that absolutely lent itself to the strategies that you see in a lot of political campaigns, and in particular, lawn signs. The lawn sign campaign started in the summer of 2020 in Calgary and received huge demand. And when we decided to move the lawn sign campaign here in Edmonton, we already had um, about 800 lawn sign requests. So we started off the bat just trying to get through the demand there. And then once those lawn signs started popping up here in Edmonton, I mean, I was waking up to 400, 500 lawn sign request emails on a Monday morning. I got a lawn sign order delivered to my house because we needed more signs in Edmonton. And I live in a very small house. I don't even have a driveway. I just have street parking. And so it's just me and this like massive truck, like semi truck, unloading these signs off pallets just into my like front porch. I have to say that it was very courageous for a lot of people to put out a lawn sign. People who have never taken part in any campaign of any kind before were compelled to go as far as putting out a lawn sign and showing their neighbors a very clear statement about what they value. It was very heartening to hear from people who'd never made a statement before to say this is the one that they were willing to make a statement on. This gave people a simple tool to do that, but even though the tool was simple, it still took courage. A decision to close and delist nearly 200 parks in Alberta has been reversed. The province now says it will not delist any parks, rec areas or natural spaces, but they are moving forward on a plan to run more parks through partnerships. In December 2020, the government of Alberta walked back on the Optimizing Alberta Parks Plan and said that the 175 parks will remain in the system, so the Defend Alberta Parks campaign was successful in achieving that. This was after um, 23,000 lawn signs had gone out across the province, uh, 20,000 letters have been sent out using the online tool, and there was a total of 1,600 volunteers that signed up through Defend Alberta Parks across the province. Um, and we truly did not even have enough roles for all of our volunteers that did sign up.
So certainly worked at um, achieving our goal in protecting our parks. I think the most impressive stat from this project is just the sheer number of volunteers that we had. And it really truly wouldn't have been possible without, without people stepping up and offering their evenings and their weekends to come pick up lawn signs and travel all over the city and even outside the city to put lawn signs on lawns. I am so incredibly proud of our, our team and all of the volunteers that got involved and, and just everyone who, who wanted to speak out. Uh, this campaign, I think, has shown Albertans that their voice matters and that if they speak out, change will happen. They, they stopped this decision from going forward. So it's a huge success and we congratulate all Albertans who got involved.